Bob, you like dinosaur? Bob, like, yeah, just stay like that. Just the thumbnail, look at the thumbnail. <laughs> Why? Just smile, but look annoyed that you're not in the, the hype house. Look at the thumbnail. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what is popping, you absolute bunch of? Nerds. And today's episode is quite different. Look. <laughs> Look at this. What's going on here? So the reason I've brought my girlfriend into this video is because we're going to be talking about the Hype House and I thought that, you know, if it was just me talking about the Hype House, it'd be one white boy talking about a bunch of white people. So I thought, who's an, eth an ethnic? Can't say that, can I? So I thought... Who's brown? <laughs> so I just thought, who's a not white? Not white. And I can joke about this because I've been with Yasmin now for how long? Six weeks. <laughs> six years. It's six years now. The thing is, right, there'll be people watching this going, Oh my god, he's got, he's got girlfriends. Oh my god, he's got a girlfriend. I don't know, I have a girlfriend. If you follow me on any other thing, if you follow me on Instagram, I even, I referenced you in a previous video, I kissed this photo of us. Remember? Remember that? Mm -hmm. I always put my Instagram on my videos, so do your Instagram. Wait, 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 wait. Say what you mean, of course. I'll edit that in a minute. <laughs> the Hype House, how, how much do you TikTok from 1 to 10, 10 being yeah, a, any given opportunity? So to what are you? Like, probably a 7 or an 8. I check it as much as like Instagram and stuff. Not okay. check it, I just, it's so addictive to scroll. Three, a 3 out of 10. Yeah. How much do you know about the Hype House? Not much. Good start, I know myself. <laughs> I know the main ones, I think you, know, you must know Charlie, the, the Dolmio. And a sister. And Dixie. <laughs> you only know Dixie. Why do you know her name? Go on. Because <laughs> Dixie and Somali is hot like a pan. Oh, yeah, there's Lil Hoodie as well, which I was surprised when I seen what he looked like. He was someone I'd just seen his name for ages and he sounded like a rapper, I thought. It does sound like a rapper. And I thought, this guy's going to be cool as hell. Um, I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to show me. <laughs> so the Hype House, is it racist? We will find out. If you don't know what the Hype House is, it's basically a bunch of TikTokers who you've probably not heard of, you've probably heard of maybe three or four, have all got together to create a Hype House. It's a bit like, what was what was Jake Paul's team, 10? I think so. And here's a mad sentence before they get into the Hype House stuff. At least Jake Paul did stuff. I, I almost said then, to be fair to Jake Paul. Which is a sentence I never thought I'd leave anyone's mm. lips. I didn't like the Team 10 house no. thing, but at least he set fire to stop. At least it was epic and at least it was rad! The Hype House is quite literally the same dance over and over and over and over and over again. What do you make of the TikTok dancers? Do you know some? I look like that old like James Charles. <laughs> literally. He dances like this. <laughs> He's got like weird... Renegade, Renegade. He doesn't do that. What do you mean? <laughs> Separate his hands. Next time you watch his videos, separate his fingers. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's always like that. Every dance move makes no sense. But he doesn't separate his fingers. So he's like this. Yeah. He'd be good at yeah. Millie Rock on them, wouldn't he? James, that's the dance for you, boy. I had a scroll through that Hype House account, which, by the way, has got 5.2 million. Well, they've got their own page. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> she knows nothing. Yaz knows nothing. Yeah, so they made their own page. Let's watch some of their epic content. So this is what they launched with. So this was the video. They were like, guys, this is the Hype House. Who do you recognise? Sort of thing. Like, yeah. oh, no, this is going to be lit. I can't believe they opted for all white people in all white clothes. Has, have they never opened a history book? All white people Instagram. in all white clothes is quite culty. <laughs> Million likes. They're not even in time. No. That's what I'm really, they're not even in time. They don't know what they're doing with people in the back. Like, I don't really like that Charlie Dolmio too much. Like, I don't love her, but at least she dances in time. If they're just hearing the mates doing it, like, sometimes I'm like, oh, 
Okay, you should probably. Is that a second? A, a legit. A name? Or are you just. It's telling me up. Oh. Like the sauce. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like that. Now, I don't even know who these are, and I'll get on to this, then, and some of them aren't really big, and some of them are older, like some are in the 20s, some are 15. All in the same house? All in the same house. No parents? This is Jen, this is the content. You don't seem very entertained. It, um, not for me. Are you not entertained? No. no. I was running through the six with my wife. The crab is on there. The crab is in there. This is the content that's got almost 200,000 likes. Are they doing something right? Are we wrong? Am I a boomer? Am I out of touch? That's genuinely how this has made me feel because I'm looking at it and the numbers are astronomical. Five million people have chosen to follow. They don't seem like they have a good sense of humour though. They don't. They don't seem like they have a good time. No. It seems so forced I think. No, it's just simply no. So this is the first we've seen of our Melon and King Lil Hoodie. A thing about Lil Hoodie which I found really funny is I done a video saying he was small because you Google him, he's five foot seven, and he done a, like a video coming out saying that he's six foot. This man is. There's no way he's six foot. If I'm he's taller than that. if he's six foot, you're seven foot four, yeah. and I'm about eight foot. Yeah. Imagine he was just convinced he was six foot, and he thought everyone else was giant. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Why am I six foot? Why is it seven foot three, eight foot four? That doesn't make it look. It generally look really nice. You do genuinely look really nice. Can you tell I've got extensions in? Well, you just... <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of the whole e-boy sort of look? It's just 90s, isn't it? It's, pre it's pretty much just like a 90s mixed with wannabe goth mixed with sort of hype beast. But the, I think some of them try too hard, you know, with all like the... We do all the eye rolling and that. There's another one, and I, I, I hate that I'm going to have to do this. So, like, they'll grab the screen, so the way it's like POV, and they'll grab the screen. There's another one where they lick the hand. <laughs> Hon honestly, I've watched people do that and they're trying to be sexy. I've been like, watching it. <laughs> I'm going to get out of it. <laughs> Look, these, this, this is all, all genuine. Oh, they're brothers. Jack Wright, James Wright. Looks like a performance that <laughs> <laughs> or like a get rich quick scheme. <laughs> it looks like six months ago I was a surfing bum. Now look at him. I'm a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, onto the question on everybody's lips, and that only you can answer. Is the hype house racist? Do you think it is? Do you think that they made a mistake? I think it was unintentional, right? Mm -hmm. And now that they've realised that they're all white, they can't just throw a black person in there because it looks like they're actually being racist. <laughs> especially if they threw a black person in there, that'd be absolutely terrible. <laughs> Lil Hoodie just goes to a cupboard, grabs out some ethnicity, <laughs> just throws it. Like, they're not that bad. That's why in this video I didn't want to be too harsh on them, because they're not that bad. No. The last few videos I've done on Olivia Duffin, on Jamie oh, Nyland. <laughs> we won't talk about them either. <laughs> the last few videos I've done on them have been quite not aggressive, but I was like, these need to be exposed for being clowns. Mm. The hype house, I think, is just a bunch of annoying bratty kids. Yeah. Yeah, that are all trying is. to cash in and bounce off each other's hype. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. People were trying to start a UK hype house, a bunch of people tagged me <laughs> in them. <laughs> I'm sad, thank you. I'm happy in I'm happy in my home. <laughs> Oh. Um. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> They've decided that the hype house isn't racist, but just idiots. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me and Yasmin to do more videos, because boy, there's a bunch that we could do. We could react to some old videos that we've done. If this gets only, if this gets like four point two thousand likes or more. We'll do more videos together and if it gets a load of dislikes I will leave Yasmin. Don't worry, I can I trust I trust you nerds enough to decide. <laughs> Once you get all disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> in the press. Dylan single. <laughs> I remember to subscribe you absolute bunch of nerds. Please come here and on a TikTok dance. What's that one? <laughs> do I need curtains? You don't.
Let me make some hot air. Go up. Why is that a little? Go on. <laughs> it's just a little. Oh, oh, we're getting there. Here comes the hype. <laughs> Curtains, chef, you wouldn't really fit into the hype house. I'm just. What do you not like? <laughs> no, spank me. No, it's getting a lot of weird now. <laughs> Being mesmerised and licking the salt lamp. It tastes like salt. I know it would, because it is salt. It tastes like nice salt though. Good quality salt. 